Before jetting off to Dallas for the wild card matchup against the Cowboys, Packers quarterback Jordan Love is proving that he's the embodiment of Midwest nice. Allie tweeting this photo today of her niece and Jordan Love with the caption, OMG, Jordan Love helping my niece out of a snowdrift. What can't he do? That's my quarterback. Well, almost immediately, that post received a lot of reaction. And earlier tonight, I got a chance to sp speak with the young woman in that picture, Lucy Karowski of De Pere. She says she was just leaving a hair appointment when she got in her car and it was stuck. And that's when her chance encounter took place with Jordan Love coming up to her and asking if she was okay. She says she recognized him immediately and still can't believe what happened. So I'm like, oh my God, I was fangirling. Oh my God, you're so cool. Like, that's all I could say. Um, and then he offered to push my car, um, which we tried. I reversed, he pushed. And then after the first try, we were like, this is not a good idea. You have a game on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> so we we're like, it's okay. I have people coming to help me anyways. So then I got a picture. I said, have a great weekend and good luck. I'll be rooting for you. And he went on his merry way. It was so cool. It was so random. You know, it's the middle of a blizzard. I last thing I was expecting was my star quarterback of my favorite team ever to come try and help me. So it was so, so cool. It was, it made my day. <laughs> And by the way, yesterday was Lucy's 20th birthday. So she says this moment with her favorite QB is the best belated gift she's ever received. I tell you what, I couldn't believe it when I saw that picture on Twitter. <laughs> oh my gosh. I couldn't even believe, like, I just left my hair appointment and I get in my car and I'm stuck. Like, I can't back out, I can't move forward. And I see this guy walk past in this, like, Nike, you know, like his usual game day outfit. And so I, I did a double take, then I did a triple take, and then we made eye contact a few times, but he was getting in his car. I wasn't going to bother him. Um, and so I'm stuck, clearly. And as he's driving away, I'm like struggling to get my car out. And then he turns around and he gets out of his car and he's like, are you okay? I'm like, yeah, I'm just stuck. So he offers to push the car. Well, first I was like, are you Jordan Love? Like, you have any... Right. So you recognized him right away. Of course. He's my favorite ever in the whole wide world. I have loved Jordan Love since he was, he got drafted. I love this guy. So, so cool. So, okay. So he gets out. So he sees you, you guys have made eye contact. He clearly probably can figure out that you're spinning your wheels or that you're stuck. And then what happens? Right. So he's, yeah, I'm Jordan Love, whatever. So I'm like, oh my God, I was fangirling. Oh my God, you're so cool. Like, that's all I could say. Um, and then he offered to push my car, um, which we tried. I reversed, he pushed. And then after the first try, we were like, this is not a good idea. You have a game on <laughs> Sunday. <laughs> so we we're like, it's okay. I have people coming to help me anyways. So then I got a picture. I said, have a great weekend and good luck. I'll be rooting for you. And he went on his merry way. So cool. Could you hardly believe that that had just happened? I have like before every like play I'm at, I go, you're so great. You can throw the ball so far. You're so awesome. So I've always been like, I love Jordan Love and he's so cool. So I just, I couldn't even believe it. It didn't feel real. I was in a sh state of shock. <laughs> it seems like he was pretty down to earth too, right? So sweet, so humble. Like not, that's also why I didn't like, it's like, that's not Jordan Love. Like he wouldn't be in De Pere when he has a, he has to be in Dallas in two days. Like, but he was just in my cute little town and it was so cool. And um, so he, when he offered to help, he came to the front of the car. He was, he pushed one time, you guys tried it and then gave up, so to speak. Yeah. I just, we both were like, yeah, let's, let's call it quits. Just like, you don't want to dislocate your shoulder. I didn't well, want to be the reason we lost a playoff game. <laughs> I mean, th those are in some of the comments are like, what's he doing, doing this? But right. I mean, in reality, it probably lasted what? A second, like one, like one quick hit on the gas. But honestly, I think even if he did injure himself, I think him, the team, the coach, anyone like that's just who the Packers are. They help their community. They're great people. They're humble people. I just, I love them. They're great. Well, I do think that that's also something that's being commented on a lot about 
if, even people that aren't necessarily fans of the Packers just saying what an incredible moment this was between a fan and a player. Right. Yeah. So, so crazy. I still don't even like believe it. I didn't think it was going to blow up like it did. I, everyone knows, like all my friends know that I am a Jordan love. Like I love him, obviously feel the love, but I think just when it happened, I just, I still don't, I don't know. <laughs> I'm still in a state of what the heck, um, but it's blowing up. And I think everyone is truly seeing that he's not just an MVP on the field, but like just a great, great person. When um, you, uh, did you ask him to take a photo? He had any problem with that? He no. loved it. I was like, can I, can I please get a selfie? He said, oh yeah, of course. Right. Like, like it wasn't an inconvenience. He like seemed like he was on his way to go somewhere obviously like he also had to drive somewhere too in the snow so he clearly like didn't mind having to stand and he wasn't he wasn't wearing a jacket no hats no gloves but he still had no issue pushing that car so great D yeah any idea what he was doing out in the st out in the blizzard I have no idea I know that there's like a Saruji chocolates over there but <laughs> I don't know yeah, wh where were you guys um specific where were you located um over by that so that shop go that got that old shop go okay yeah kind of in that um kind of across from azure and though that area yeah i'm trying to think oh yeah um like near voyager park almost mm -hmm. right across the street from it so to speak right yeah and you were getting your hair done yeah good thing i looked good <laughs> right i mean that's a bonus if you're gonna meet the your favorite football player it's nice to look good Right. And I wish I knew, like, if I w it was going to blow up, I would have posed a little better. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It looks pretty good to just about right. everybody that's checking it out. That's for sure. <laughs> that is for sure. Um, Yeah. And like you said, he seemed to be a pretty nice guy. Awesome guy. And I knew it. I just always knew, like, Jordan Love is humble. You can just tell, like, in his press conferences and especially, like, how – um, our head coach talks about him too. You can just tell like they have a great bond and he's a great representation for what Green Bay is. And you said you knew right away that oh. it was him. Right. And of course I follow like the pregame outfits. I know what his outfit would look like. And that's what it was. Just like the cute little gray hoodie with the Packers logo. So, so awesome. So awesome. Well, will you be watching on Sunday then? Of course, always, always. <laughs> what would you want to say to like, when people ask, what was he like? What was it? You know, that's probably the biggest thing that, you know, you had you ever met him before? Had you ever seen him before? No, never. So just meeting him and having him come like so willingly to help someone he's never met out um, was just so awesome. Just to it. Only thing I could say about what he is like is just a, a humble, down to earth, kind person. Like genuinely, mm -hmm. he. And I don't think he has any like motivation to want to make himself look bad. Obviously, but he he is a great person. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I think that that is what a lot of uh, people that are commenting or reacting to your posting or the picture or the image of you two. Um, like I said, even fans that are football fans, maybe not necessarily Packers fans are commenting about uh, they can't help but root for a guy when, when it's a post or something like this, a situation. like Right. This. Exactly. He's so, it was so cool. It was so random. You know, it's the middle of a blizzard. I last thing I was expecting was my star quarterback of my favorite team ever to come try and help me so it was so so cool it was it made my day <laughs> makes the blizzard a little bit easier to tolerate now you've got a great story with this right I would I did not mind being stuck in the snow <laughs> amen is there anything else that I didn't touch on or that you'd like to add um I think that's just about it <laughs>